Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum Reaction. I'm Steve, and today I'm going to react to the Blue Beetle final trailer that dropped today. The movie comes out in August. I'm pretty excited for this because, as I've always said, DC has given us a lot of Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. And they have so many characters that I'm interested in, and we got a new one. So I'm really looking forward to this. And hopefully with my AMC A-list, I will be at the theater. Before I get into it, I want to thank everyone who's already subscribed to the channel. Right now, I think I'm at 950 or 951. I'm 50 subs away from 1,000, so thank you so much. And if you want to see my full reactions and exclusive content, then come check me out at Patreon at Screen Sanctum. I just got to get into this. I'm having a really busy work day. So in three, two, one, go. All right. Okay. I like the colors. I <laughs> Shazam! <laughs> you gotta force it to come out. What do you? <sighs> You're a genius. Well, I know. What he just it? has to jump. No, 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 no. Leap of faith. Yeah. Oh. Did you know what was gonna happen to my brother when you stuck him with this world? This looks dope. It's called the scarab. I had no idea it would activate. It has to. That's so cool. <laughs> So how do we get it to unchoose me? Scarab doesn't unchoose you, man. Host acquired. Who said that? Systems checking. Three, okay. two. Uptown, baby. I was down, but they see I'm walking down, baby. God, God. <laughs> it looks super exciting. <laughs> oh, shoot. Approaching, engaging host protection. That's so cool. And when we get in mode, I'm gonna drag it like I'm cruising. Threat eliminated. Sorry about that. Cut it out, cut it out. That suit looks really good. When they figure out that some kid has this military tech. We're gonna come after him. Change the world with the power of the sky. Oh, Harvey Gein. It belongs to me. Watch out, watch out. Shit. Oh, he's pissed. I want Harvey Gein to be a superhero. Oh, this is the bad guy? I don't know who that's supposed to be. It's like an arc reactor. Yeah, that's more like it. This gives me a lot of. It's reminding me of a few things that I'll say, and I mean it in a good way. Makes you weak. You're wrong. My family. That's what makes me strong. Oh. Oh, I forgot how bad it looks. So it is like in him. Sorry, my mom. The visual effects look dope. They look really good. <laughs> so cool. Oh my god. Nana? Oh my god. That's so funny. August 18th. So, I want to just say, oh, that's cool that they put the comics so we know what to read if we want to, like, refresh. The movie looks amazing. And I'm saying this not as a bad thing. I'm saying this as a good thing. This reminds me a little bit. There are elements of the trailer that remind me of Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Deadpool. And that's not bad. And I'm not saying they're copying because I have, you know, I have no idea. The whole suit with the voice reminds me of Iron Man with Jarvis and Spider-Man with Karen. It kind of also looks like the Iron Spider suit a little bit, which kind of makes sense because it's a beetle and beetles have uh, claws and shit like that. And then some of the banter reminds me a little bit of uh, Deadpool, like kind of like when he split the bus in half and it's in slow motion. I know he's not breaking the, the fourth wall in that scene, but it kind of gives me some vibes. But 
it's fine with me because they're not copying anything else really. It's just things that could be generic for any kind of story. The biggest is the suit does look like an Iron Man suit, but I don't really care. Like I don't watch this trailer and say, oh, they're copying Iron Man. Like they're obviously not. It it's just a simil a similar vibe to me, just much brighter. And it looks like it's gonna be really fun. So far in trailer one and this trailer, to me anyway, the visual effects look amazing. Nothing looks terrible. And you could say it's because there's not a lot of it. I mean, the, obviously the suit is and the scarab is. There are, are certain elements of CGI, but we're not doing like de-aging. It doesn't look like there's huge set pieces that they need to create. Um, things like that. It doesn't look like there's going to be like minions of, you know, bad guys that they're going to have to CGI. It just looks like two guys, kind of like Iron Man 1 with Iron Man versus Obadiah Stane. I don't know who this villain is, and I don't know what the relationship is to Blue Beetle, so I'll have to read up a little bit more. But all in all, this trailer looks really good, and it does get me amped to see this. One, because it looks good. Two, because it's kind of, to me, kind of giving homage to a few of the other titles that I mentioned earlier, which is a good thing. They're not stealing anything from it. And I think the most important is we're getting a Latino superhero. And it took 15, 20 years where we've just basically gotten a lot of white male superheroes. I mean, you know, we had Blade back in the day, which was dope, and Black Panther. But I can't think of a Latino superhero from Marvel and DC, like in the movies. And you could comment below. I'm sure you will. If I'm forgetting something, you'll let me know. But this is big for that community. And... I'm very happy for everyone. Um, I always joke that I want an Italian superhero besides the Super Mario Brothers, but what are you going to do? I usually get like the Gambino crime families and I get the villains, which is fine. It would be cool. Are there any Italian superheroes? I have no idea, but this isn't about me. I'm just very happy for the community that are, are going to be represented in August. And hopefully this makes a lot of money so we can get more movies like this. And again, something I think we have to talk about superhero movies in general. Not every movie made is made to make a billion dollars. And I say that not to make excuses for anything. Blue Beetle is not Superman or Batman or Wonder Woman. Just like Ant-Man isn't the Fantastic Four or Black Panther or Spider-Man. Blue Beetle is not supposed to make a billion dollars. Can it make a billion dollars? Of course it can. But if this makes like 500 million, like four, five, six, that's good, I think, for a first Blue Beetle movie, you know, just like the first Ant-Man. When they came out with Ant-Man, I think it made 600 million. They didn't put that movie out to make a billion dollars. That movie got made because of the movies that made a billion dollars that we were able to get in Ant-Man. So it's so dope that we're able to get Blue Beetle. That's all I really have. So. What did you guys think of the final Blue Beetle trailer? What do you think of my reaction? Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And again, if you see me on Patreon, check me out at Screen Sanctum. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.